Hi guys and welcome back to episode 84 of the Rain series. In the previous episode, we finished off Tarkov Shooter Part 6 and also we did a little bit of Peacekeeper Mission. In this episode, I want to move on with Peacekeeper Mission and finish off um, the rest of that and also, while we're at it, have a go at uh, Tarkov Shooter Part 7. So, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so um, first things first, we forgot to hand in Tackle Shooter Part 6. So let's get that handed in. 13,000 XP right there. Tackle Shooter Part 7. Can we see some 45 meters away with the suppressed bolt action? Um, we already have the bolt action, so all we have to do is put the suppressor on it. Uh, edit preset, and we'll go Blamo. Assemble by yes. Yes. Assemble. Bought it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And um, like that. And then we'll just have that as like a little side gun for us. If we want. We could actually put a better side on. Now, for the rest of the peacekeeping mission, we need to get uh scav kills on interchange. So we might also keep the uh the old VPO with us. Cause you never know. Yeah, never know. I do want to change this out. Um, uh, put the interchange there, what as well, that in there, reload that, we'll go for a cheeky look at the hideout, Bitcoin for us to sell, how we going fuel wise, 14 hours, Bitcoin, fuel, buy another fuel. Now, um, that's everything we really need, need. Save for a little bit extra. What I'm thinking is dailies. So first daily, eliminate 10 scavs, any location. Yep, we'll take that. Second one. Survive woods three times. Survive labs three times. Hand over some flat screwdrivers and pliers. Something I can get behind. All we need to do is get one flat screwdriver. Not very much XP, and we're not going to make the money back on <laughs> all the resets we did. All right, and this one's having just a weapon pass. Bam. All right, so we can get this one done if we can just get one more flat screwdriver. We'll focus on getting that wall running around interchange, and also just going to kill 10 scavs, which is fairly straightforward, really. All right, so interchange we go. Um, and we're going mostly after those, those 12 scavs. And if we can get a couple of PMC kills from 45 meters away or more, that's a bonus. So, interchange, daytime, let's go. All right, so. 12 scavs and, and players. It's possible that we could just lay down over here. Players will just run straight out that door. We've got Emicon Extract. Yep. Yeah. No, we've got Railway. Okay. And so we could go over there and then go through the whole mall and come out at Emicon, but... I 
think we'll just go inside. Yeah, if we were to get the 12 scabs done, we would comfortably get level 42. Scav upstairs. Two scavs upstairs. <clears throat> I can I heard another one down this way, that's why I'm pushing up. Maybe I'll go up. Alright, someone's already killed scabs down and upstairs just there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head towards the Emicon extract. Check for flat screwdrivers. In the process of doing that, uh, we'll go check over there for scabs to kill. And I'll probably go into Ollie. I don't really mind if we don't find the flat screwdriver, but it'd be worth at least checking, you know? There's one up top. One down bottom. I think that was number five.
We're going to use scav. Yeah. Guys there. Half a mag. Ba -ba -da -ba. Need some scans, that's good. Haven't heard much PMC shooting, but we know they're about. Just did dead scans before. Can't see any more scavs straight away. So what I want to do is I go down here. Than half. Oh, nice little rig on that. Might take it. That makes it a bit heavy, but. We'll make it work. Hey, what are we up to? Nice, so we're three to go. I think if we head back to the middle of the mall, that will get us bloody close. We fuck. The player scarf? Why does it interchange run of all time? Right here. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. on a Wednesday. Right. Look at these two more scav kills. 
We'll get out of here. Here, one more. Fuck out of here. We are done with peacekeeping mission. I didn't kill this guy. Oh no, I did actually. I'm here to hear bullshit. Ripped for her pleasure. Right. Find the flat screw, flat screwdriver. When you're heading towards your extract on EJ, just double check your extract. I mean, I thought I've done going to like the wrong extract on EJ, it's actually embarrassing. How am I out of stamina? Iconic. We are out of here. Nice. Spawned in. Went to um check out the uh, the power station. Wasn't really much special going on there. No movement. And then we just literally did pretty much a lap clockwise around the whole mall. 
uh, check that Goshen in the middle of the mall. Went back around to the behind Ollie and upstairs and above stairs and downstairs and then through the middle again over to Idea. And then, um, yeah, out of there. Worked out really well. Ended up getting 13 scams. Getting the daily done and peacekeeping mission, which is good. And leveling up snobs a little tiny bit. So. Now, unless we have money to spend on someone, then that there would be perfect mediator complete. There it is. Now, never have to worry about guns again. Or at least gun storage. Here. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Cool. All that stuff is in there nicely. Opening up a heap of space versus just put other stuff in here. Get sold, then get sold. Cool. Storage wise, we're looking pretty good. I don't, we could probably get one more stash upgrade if we really wanted to, but I don't think we will. Um, most of this, uh, most of this other stuff, I'm just going to put aside for if they pop up for dailies. Food and drink can go in here. And now we no longer need really use an M4. Like that. I actually like using the um, an M4 pretty much exactly like that or an ADA for um, doing shoot in heaven. Is that quite often? <clears throat> we don't need them anymore. So let's get rid of them. Helmet. Cool. Now I'm probably going to go custom. Put that there. We'll just go like this for a bit of fun. See what we can find. Um, Location wise, we don't really have anything too crazy. Shoot upon heaven, which we can do on custom. Uh, that's not really anything. We, we never need to do that. Grenadier, grenade kills. Stuns, these aren't required for a collector. We need to level up our snob skill search. Yeah, customs, we can go try and find bronze line. Christmas by looting. And this is where we've got to get our sniper kills from 45 meters away. We don't need to do that. And then we've got a heap of lighthouse. Uh, they're kind of lame ones, but we've got left. And yeah, so I don't really have a lot to do besides talk of shoot us, uh, shoot one in heaven and finding the line. So let's get customs. Might even get rid of that. Push this around for a customs one. I did have that as like a dump thing for custom. Let's put this one lab. Should we try trying to make this pay for itself in one raid? Go uh, dorms. 
All right. Let's go customs. All right. On the player hunt. We don't have like the super zoom sights here, but have fun with this one. Nice day. I don't like this sign. Someone was in there. See them anywhere along here? Mm, yeah. Where are they? Hmm. Oh, Lordy. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Shot at me then. Oh, now they're shooting back at me. Are you fucking serious? Stamina drain just fucking owned me there. Couldn't get the fucking crosshair to go up. with that sort. It's really hard. It wasn't a 100 meter shot anyway, but there's 77 damage to the armor and 43 to the body. So it's just a bit low. Oh no, I killed a scav as well. The 35 of that was headshot. But actually, I did 8 damage to the body, 77 to the armor.
Oh well, we go again. Up, 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 up. Dun, 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 dun. Not vision on that though. Cool. And then for bold actions, I don't think we'll get any back from insurance. No. Oh, we got textile part one. Right. Um. <sighs> we could do the SP ninety eight. It's not issue with that. Four of them. We have to suppress them. Just a little bit of money. Just do a little bit of selling and tidy up. That M4 as well. I'm not gonna use it. Now, um, and then here, edit preset. What the 30 mil? Assemble and select weapon. Like. Cool. So two are ready to go, at least. Now I just need to buy one more mag. Get all four. Meds. Sell that rig. And I just want to buy them. Cool. There we go. Ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. It made a big difference having that in the last one. We already had the other one, so I was like, well, I might as well use it. All right, let's do it. All right, so. We could just go straight across the stronghold and just try and shoot people from there. See what we can make of it. Where the guy was that was shooting the windows down there. That's not up there. Probably eight people here.
My issue with here is you never hear them coming. Like unless you see them, you'll never hear them. Because it's just how the audio works in this game. This construction, that's good for us. Oh, which way are you going to go? I'm trying to be a little bit cheeky here. The bomb wire covers me a little bit. The dude definitely shooting his M4 over here. He's up against that wall. This is just super Chad. Oh my god, I missed. Come back out, come back out. Oh my god, I'm missing everything. Oh, 
Oh my god, what the fuck that? It's a hard run here. At least they hit him on that last shot. I know where they're headed, so... <sighs> Arguably I can jump on top of this tower and stick my head up. How the fuck did that shot not kill him? Should have shot him in the back of the head. I'm sure these guys are going to go Rua for... Coming back around. So, the hope I've got here is they got up to that body. He's 
stop the bleed. this up. Arguably. We could do this. The idea is we want to keep this other guy guessing on where I am. This body's just here. This muzzle clearance, I think. Definitely for there, not sure for there. I feel like a couple times we could have taken the shot there, but I guess he's still coming back cool. We, we, if we take the shot and he's still moving, we want to take the shot when he's not in a place he can easily get away. So if he's over, he jumps over the fence, I can take the shot here, and he has to either run behind the covers. He can't really just jump back over the fence. He can, but it's like a lot harder. Look at his low in stamina. Here he comes. Fuck, I missed it. Missed the shot. Damn it. Oh, SVD it would have been so much easier, but. Yeah, he did well to clear everywhere. I wonder how much I stood out. <sighs> I missed it by like an inch. Oh, well. These things happen. Um, We did that really well. He was very thorough. Very, very thorough. Uh, and I could have taken the shot a lot of times, but um, I was really waiting for him to do that stop. He, uh, yeah. He's seven. He did well. GG's. GG's.
They'll be running M4s and MK47s. It's hard when you don't have the stamina. But like, particularly with the, like, if I stood up and I was trying to move around with that SV-98, it was like, no stamina every time I try to take any, like, prolonged ADS. It was a little bit of an obvious spot. That was probably my only negative there. On that staircase going up, I would have been a le lot less obvious, but I couldn't go prone on that staircase going up. Whereas, oh, I might have been able to actually, but it would have been a lot harder. Whereas up at top, easier to go prone, but a lot more exposed. However, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get that dub at the end, but uh, it's still, hopefully you guys have learned at least a little bit about how much I moved around. Like that guy had no idea where I was. He was full stalking to try and find me. Um, so like when you get engaged and particularly when it's a geared duo trying to like fucking W key every single opportunity they get, um, you know, like move around, keep repositioning. If you get in a fight, don't stick around. If, you, if you're using a bolt action, they're running you down with MK47s. If you can run, get to a new position. See, I moved across the fence. The guy charges down. We, you knew he was coming down that way. Bam, I get a, I get a, at least a shot off at, at him, on him. If I didn't want to go for the headshot, I could have gone for the body, slowed him down a little bit, then ran away. Keep moving, moving, moving. It's uh, When you can, at least, it will make you win a lot more fights. Uh, if I switched over to the SVD then, I would have taken the shot. I was trying to go for that one tap headshot. Um, but if I used the SVD, I would have gone body shot. Bang, bang, bang. First hit, hit in the body would have taken away all his stamina and uh, would have just destroyed his armor and it would have been like a lot easier kill. Uh, we were trying to get our um, tackle shooter touch done. So you gotta be a little more patient, a little bit more careful with those SV-98 shots. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't pay off for us at the end, but GG to him, it was really good. He was very, very thorough with his um, with his uh, hunting down and uh, he did a really good job. So GG to him and um, yeah, next time we'll get him. All right, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Usually drew a like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Um, and uh, yeah, lastly guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you.